Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to the page. And today we're going to be diving into issue number 750 of The Flash. This issue is going to be introducing us to The Flash Age. Now there are some other short stories that go along with this, but we won't be covering them in this video. Just because they don't necessarily pertain to the timeline continuing forward. But if you're interested in checking those out, be sure to check out Comixology or your local comic book store for a copy of this issue of The Flash. And without further ado, let's dive in. So diving into this issue, we really see a Flash who is slowing down in a sense. He, he's been going so fast the last year with everything going on, the creation of the strength and the still force, Kid Flash now returning with the Teen Titans, Avery returning to China, the death of Captain Cold, and also not to mention that his powers temporarily being supercharged. So needless to say, this, this year's been really taxing on Barry Allen. On, on top of everything that's happened to him this year, Future Flash had come to him and let him know that he needed to be on the lookout for Paradox. Paradox was coming for him. But this is Barry Allen slowing down. He, he's actually getting to spend time with Iris. He's being able to get all the do all these things he wants to do. But you can tell he's holding on to a lot of regret. He's holding on to a lot of the things he felt like he just wasn't good enough to get done. For example, being able to help Commander Cold in any kind of uh, sense of the way. He just feels inadequate in so many aspects. And we see we see him getting back to work. We see him getting back to, to being a crime scene investigator. You know, so we're just, we're seeing Barry Allen getting back to being Barry Allen and not so much just so focused on the Flash. And so while him and Iris are, are sitting down having a discussion, Barry goes and sees Iris's notepad and essentially it's like a, a montage to the Flash. It's interviews with local citizens asking them just, you know, what the Flash means to me. And we see a montage of events where Barry either saves somebody or takes down a bad guy protecting civilians in the process. You know, it's just, it's the general consensus around Central City that the Flash is, is loved. So while they're having this discussion and Barry's is telling her, I, I don't think... I live up to this legend that you're making me out to be. And before they can finish their conversation, we're met with the arrival of Godspeed. And Barry's just like, what are you doing here? Like, why are you here? And we see August start to go off about how he, what would happen if he were the one hit by lightning. And it's really confusing Barry and Iris, and they're just like, we don't really understand what's going on here. And Godspeed tells him, I know that you're looking for Paradox, and that you need to drop the case. Stay, a far, stay as far away from Paradox as you possibly can. And then we see Godspeed take off, and Flash is right behind him in pursuit. And we see Godspeed and Barry running, and we see Barry asking what, trying to figure out what he knows about Paradox. And before Barry realizes it, they've stopped in front of the Flash Museum. And Barry realizes that he was he was brought here. This was a setup. He was Godspeed was just luring him here. And that's when we hear the voice of Paradox. And he says, What kind of man has a museum built in his own honor? Especially when he is still alive. It's fascinating how the world sees you, how the how they worship the flash, how they claim to be inspired by you. And so Paradox is is telling Barry, like, you're a fraud, you're a fake. Everything you have done, everything you have touched has corrupted the timeline. It has caused some kind of vibration through time, and your carelessness to ever look back is what has caused the arrival of me, Paradox. People claim that you're a hero, but you're nothing more than Nightmare. So Paradox essentially wants to make the Flash answer for every time he's changed time, for every time he's manipulated something and erased a person or something of that nature. And Paradox says the, the age of the Flash must end. And then this is when he tells Godspeed, if you, if you really want to prove that you're going to be loyal to me, then I need you to kill the Flash. And that is where this issue will end. 
so let me know what you guys think leave a comment like and sub i am really enjoying where this is going i i love the idea of paradox i really want to see the the true limits of his power and how powerful he actually is and see see what he can do especially him coming into his powers and and now having an understanding of what they are and what they can do i mean you there was literally an image of godspeed bowing down before him and if that doesn't say anything to to the pure strength and fear that he can instill onto godspeed that's really something so yeah with that being said that will be the end of this one and we will be getting into the next issue here in the next couple of days i hope you guys are enjoying the content that i'm putting out and until the next video